With its gigantic dimensions and its boundless abundance of celestial bodies, the cosmos exceeds any imagination. Even a brief glance at the starry sky is enough to convince ourselves of the overwhelming diversity and size of the universe. While more and more blank spots are being erased from star maps and we are gradually deciphering the mysteries of the cosmos, however, a fundamental question arises. What is actually hidden behind the universe? And is there such a thing as behind at all? Can a construct that is all too readily dubbed infinite have a defined edge? And most importantly, are there any clues as to what lies dormant beyond our astronomical field of view? Stay tuned and join us on our quest for answers. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the cosmos? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell to never miss one of our videos again. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. Blind Spots As mentioned at the beginning, we would like to devote ourselves to a central topic today. What is hiding beyond the universe? Well, the answer to this exciting question is complicated. In order to understand what hurdles the experts face in this regard, we should first consider which areas of the cosmos we can actually see. In view of the thousands and thousands of sparkling objects that shine towards us in the firmament, there is one thing we must not forget. What we see of the universe does not reflect at all the total construct. Against the background that the universe is isotropic and homogeneous, or in other words, it always presents itself to the observer in the same way regardless of his location and viewing direction, a spherical space results from our blue home planet, the volume of which corresponds to our astronomical field of view. This optical boundary scheme is not only valid for our earthly home, but it can be transferred to any celestial body in space. Since it is known that the universe was born 13.8 billion years ago, one might think that the distance to the observation horizon, or in other words, our visual limit, is also 13.8 8 billion light years. But this is a fallacy. In fact, the cosmos does not possess a rigid, unchangeable character at all. On the contrary, we are dealing with a structure that has been expanding continuously since time immemorial. However, the universe does not expand into an already existing space. It is rather the space itself which constantly becomes larger. This also means that those distances, which have already been covered, have been extended subsequently as a result of the expansion of the cosmos. Thus, the distance up to the observation horizon today is also not quantified with 13.8, but with 46.6 billion light years. Those objects, which currently lie at the threshold of our visual barrier, were only 40 million light years away from the Earth at the time when they emitted their light. If we observe the corresponding formations today, this is equivalent to optical time travel. What's more, since the objects have long since crossed the event horizon, we cannot make any statements about the processes that are currently taking place there. Disturbing Discovery But what lies beyond the observational horizon, and which astronomical objects elude our view? Well, the sobering answer to this question is, we have no idea. Where the observational situation is simply non-existent, Experts have no choice but to enter the field of speculation. Some researchers are of the opinion that the areas of the cosmos invisible for us are built up approximately in the same way as the areas in our field of vision. However, the inexplicable data transmitted by NASA's WMAP spacecraft a few years ago suggests that something lurks behind our optical barrier that dwarfs anything we know. To investigate variations within the cosmic background radiation, WMAP analyzed the motion patterns of large clusters of galaxies. In this respect, the common assumptions of cosmological research say that the proper motions of those gravitationally bound galaxy clusters should actually be relative to the cosmic background radiation and thus randomly distributed in all directions. But this was not the case. As the collected data showed, the clusters exhibited a surprisingly uniform motion pattern. But that's not all. The movement speeds even increased with increasing distance. In other words, this means that the galaxy clusters had fallen into the grip 
of an ominous gravitational force. However, the scientists could not find a cause for this mysterious galaxy stream. For Alexander Kashlinsky, responsible for the NASA Working Group, this could mean only one thing. Beyond the observable universe must lurk an enormous something which pulls the galaxy clusters into its spell. The explanations that Kashlinsky put forward are as spectacular as they are controversial. Even though the expert explicitly points out that we do not know what underlies this so-called dark flow, we could be dealing with the effects of a neighboring universe or a completely different space-time region. Although Kashlinsky insists that the measurement results do not represent a statistical coincidence, his comments about a dark flow are sharply criticized by many of his other colleagues. The Limits of Infinity let us now return to our original question. What is behind the universe? And is there such a thing at all? The revealing news first off. If the cosmos is really infinitely large, we do not need to rack our brains any longer at this riddle. At this background, the universe would consequently be everything that exists. In the context of infinity, there would therefore be neither an edge nor anything like an astronomical outside that we would talk about at this point. But unfortunately, this mystery is not quite so easy to get out of the way. In truth, we still have no idea whether the universe is really infinite or just unimaginably large. To approach the question of cosmic dimensions, experts are trying to decipher the shape and volume of the universe. But how does one analyze a construct that cannot be grasped in its entirety? To measure the universe, scientists look at its curvature. If the universe is perfectly flat geometrically, it could be infinitely large. However, if it is curved in itself, such as a sphere, the volume is also limited. At this point, however, it is useful for us to remember the difference between unboundedness and infinity. Let us assume that the cosmos is indeed spherical in structure and consequently has a finite volume. This finiteness would not necessarily mean that the universe must also be limited. In order to understand this circumstance figuratively, the experts often refer to the example of an ant which is set down on the surface of a balloon. Although this is by no means an object of infinite volume, the crawling creature could run forever in any direction without ever encountering a demarcated boundary. Even if this example shows us the basic principle comprehensively, we should not apply it seamlessly to the universe, because in contrast to the balloon, the universe in classical cosmology is not embedded in a higher dimensional shape. Although the shape of the cosmos has still not been clearly revealed, our current measurements cautiously suggest that the universe is indeed almost perfectly flat. But even in this case, shape does not necessarily imply infinity. Let's just take the top of a cylinder. This is also flat from a geometrical point of view, because we can draw two parallel lines which never touch each other and still, it has a finite size. The same could be true for the cosmos. It's possible that it is completely flat and yet closed in itself. Final Thoughts It is in our nature to want to categorize the world around us in shapes, scales, and sizes. When we imagine the cosmos figuratively, we may think of it as a gigantic sphere filled with stars, galaxies, and every interesting object imaginable. You might say it's exactly therein that our largest problem lies. In order to understand things and circumstances, we must regard them from the outside and fully. However, the universe does not need this external perspective in order to be able to exist. It is simply there. From a mathematical point of view, it's completely coherent to define a universe that needs neither an edge nor an outside. Or in other words, when we think of space as a geometric body, we play a familiar trick of our minds, but one that the world of mathematics does not require. Since the universe by definition contains everything that exists, the question of what lies behind everything is according to some experts, invalid from the outset. Accordingly, one might as well ask what sounds the color blue makes. One would be trying to combine two concepts that cannot be connected. What at first sounds like a killer argument, however, also has some critics in the ranks of experts. It is conceivable, for example, that our universe by no means embodies the totality of everything, but merely represents a vanishingly small link in an infinite chain of further universes. In this case again, the question would arise, what then lies beyond such a multiverse? A topic we will perhaps address in one of our future videos. 
And now we want your opinion. Do you believe that the universe is infinite? Can there even be such a thing as a cosmic beyond? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our video in the comments below. Want to learn more about the most unusual discoveries in space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked here in the credits for you. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.